<laughs> Welcome to the 24th annual U Toledo Fan Books Week Vigil. Now you say, why? Why a vigil? Because we always have to remain alert and watchful. The battle for the First Amendment is never over. This is also, oh yes, oh yes, all over the city of Toledo, Read Band Books Day. His Honor, Mayor Wade, has so proclaimed. So now, I think, without any more ado, I'm going to give a shortened version of my presentation. That all right, Arjun? Yes, sure. Let's share the Take screen. It away. And here we go. So, creativity is essential to human rights. And you're going to see our logo contains create. And the reason it contains create is because so much of how we express ourselves comes out of this ability to use our imagination. If we couldn't use our imagination, we would have problems with any form of expression. UNESCO, UNESCO, in fact, has declared creativity a human right and warned us that this right is under threat. Artists around the world are having problems doing their job, their, their work, and they're getting all kinds of interference. Artistic freedom and that's artistic freedom for you and me, as well as for professional artists. If you think about it, art helps us express our feelings. It's also used to express dissent and rebellion, protest, and hope. It's very important to our democracy. Here's a screen with jazz. We must not ever forget music. Music is vital to creative expression. In fact, our artistic expression, our creativity is an, a very necessary part of defining who we are as human beings. Our imagination connects us to others. This turtle is a symbol used by the Indigenous Alliance of, and it's to symbolize there aren't any borders. Here's another slide about the Alliance of Indigenous Peoples. And the Ford Foundation is trying to lift up unheard voices because we tell lots of stories. We depend upon telling stories. Sadly, very sadly, we leave out many, many stories. We never get to hear maybe the bulk of the stories that we could hear. And that's all because of the way our systems are set up to privilege some narratives over others. This is puppets and bread, it's social justice. The, the bread and puppet theater in New York pushes back against the narratives that undermine fairness. And they quite often give their audiences stuff to think about. Creative expression empowers everybody, but it can be vital to teenagers. And sometimes just the possibility for them to create using their imagination, stories and art and music, it will help them decrease their anxiety, explore what's making them depressed and get help because through their art, they can let other people know they're having suicidal thoughts. So creativity is vital. It can be a matter of saving people's lives. I just love Mother Goose and Grimm. They're my favorite. And I thought this cartoon was fun. 
Sniff, 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 sniff. Meow. Meow. I got the strangest meow urge meow, for munchies. Meow. And I included this cartoon because the veiled reference in it to drug use could get some people upset and might even get Mike Peters banned somewhere. But do not worry, the ACLU points out First Amendment protection covers everything. Whatever the human impulse to create can produce is protected. So books, theater, paintings, posters, TV, comic books, television, videos, music videos, whatever we can create, that's protected speech. And I'm ending here with knowledge, that's a human right. And UNESCO also would like us to work on increasing everybody's access so that as we're entering this digital world, we don't leave anyone behind because to expand human rights partly is going to involve using communication and making sure that we are all part of that conversation. So, my lovelies, create, express yourselves, use your imagination. Now see, we're done.